hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before some... Someone swipes it. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. There now. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. You gotta cut down on. And the jet, I guess. That don't start talking crazy. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, you took the wrong fight.
It spins. So, that's not right.
Hmm, it spins. Oh, so it starts with R? Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser chip. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon. You're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy, hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona. And I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Don't try anything, stranger. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Could use some supplies, actually. Let's see what I can... Uh-huh. Don't try anything, stranger. Hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. No way. That chip? is mine to anybody else in the commonwealth all you have is two caps worth of salvage with us that data is priceless but we're not just going to give that away talk to me again if you change your mind uh <clears throat> made up your mind we decode the courser chip for you but after that it's ours deal why do you want the courser chip institute tech is light years beyond what we have 
and a Corsair chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. The latest from Stanley oh, Sabre. man, we got lucky. No I got you, you so institute bastard. I got you. Now they saw for in. We Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Then we got it! We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Don't try anything, stranger. Drummer boy said the Deacon is a synth. I don't know. Maybe. Well, you don't believe Drummer? Deacon's face has been under the knife many, many times. Don't try anything, stranger. Every so often, stranger. boom. New identity. It's hard to keep track. Maybe under all that, he's a synth. Or maybe not. No, he's a synth. I'm telling you. Listen, he may not even be alive. Tinker said he spent a year as a ghoul. I shit you not. Bullshit. Someone said after one of Deacon's face jobs, he was a woman. Not many doctors around these days. There's Should no let me way Deacon is a woman. Well, the point is, no one knows who or what Deacon really is. Recalibrating using new data set. We having fun yet? <clears throat> we having fun yet? If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. Don't try anything, stranger. You know stranger. what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property as tools. Aren't synths just machines? And machines are tools. They started that way. But if it's impossible to tell a single difference between a synth and a human, they must be treated the same. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. 
And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? After you leave, I get to do a full security sweep before you can get out of here, too. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know. Good. The sure. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we... S I have a... Once, I pledged my life to... Well said. Huh? Someone... But right... And... Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there.
Hey. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Got another rail sign, right there. And another. We're probably close. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shine. Trust me.
Hi. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He's probably telling the truth, but you never can tell. I agree. Odds are good we can take him at face value. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. I say we go through the front door. Minefield or not. What? If you think we got the mojo for that, I'll back your play. You first.
noticed someone present. The elevators hidden behind the for the love of the institute bastards powered off the elevator. We kill all of them, and we still gotta go in the back way. Well, the slightly bright side here is it'll be easy getting out. You buy that? I don't. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington.
Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The Railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the Railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, pow, fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh. This one means danger. Yeah, we know, poor dead bastard. We know. Hostile sensor reading. <laughs> See the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before... Well, you know. Look around. Tinker managed to turn on the defenses. Barely slowed the coursers down, but... Hey, probably saved some lives. Utilizing stealth. How interesting. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. I knew you would reveal yourself.
someone ready. Hostile sensor reading detected. Institute sensors available. I will find you. I know they were wise to flee. Detected. There you are. Combat initiated. Whoever or whatever you are, I know you are system offline. Bye bye, Gen 1s. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. So hey, you take this. Thank God someone managed to close the security door in time. Carrington's prototype is in there. Hell yeah. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Agrote, Supreme Lex. Open says me. The elevator's at the end of the hall. Should be easy to power up and get out since we already cleared the path, right?
Is someone present? You're still being critically damaged. End of the line. Just power up the elevator. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Mostly true, but there weren't a hundred of them. And Deacon was with me the whole way. Embellishing the truth again, are we? She would have fallen for it, you know? Don't flatter yourself. Still, I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad. 
agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me... Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded I'm getting tired secrets, of waiting. So be careful, coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Ah, it's our newest agent. Testimono told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. With Listen up, everyone. This is Bullseye. He did the switchboard off with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. Testimono told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, 
Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. Just don't. You can trust me with this. I'll get it. Just don't. You can trust me with. Just don't. You can trust. Just don't. You can trust me with this. Just don't. You can trust me. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker.